Hey guys, how's it going? Um, long time no vlog. Uh, it's <clears throat> Sunday at the moment, Sunday night, like seven ish. I don't know what actually what time it is. Um, but I really wanted to make a video this week. Ooh. Uh, I'm making this on my new special, brand new fancy camera. Uh, I'm using this feature right now where it's like. It, it auto focuses, it keeps track of my face and it auto focuses on my face. And so if you look, stuff in the background gets a little blurrier when I get closer to the camera. And then as I move away from the camera, it continues to track my face. And oh my goodness, the focus changes. Um, it's one of the main reasons I bought this camera, honestly. <laughs> it's good for video blocking. I like it. Anyways, I wanted to make one on Friday, a video on Friday. Uh, I had to do go and play Dun uh, Dungeons and Dragons with. Uh, my friends, and it, it ended up taking way longer than I thought it would. I thought we'd be done at like 11, and get home at midnight, and I'd make a video, you know, late like usual, but whatever. Um, and then it ended up going till 2, and I had to be up at 9. Um, and so, you know, I get home at like 2.33. I just need to go to bed, because um, yesterday I had a just kind of like this workshop thing with a, a director who uh, was trying to it's complicated there's this uh, a director who was went to the school that I'm currently going to and was back in town and he got some students uh, me and two others to help him go over uh, this play that he's directing soon uh, just to go over like blocking stuff figuring stuff like that out as we were just and it was great because I helped him out and I helped got learning skills and whatnot. I've been talking for two minutes and I haven't even gotten to my list. I went over all of your guys' videos last night because I've been gone for six weeks um, and made a list of things to say about the videos that have existed thus far. Speaking with a pattern of repetition and so, on my brand new camera, because I've been away for so long, I'm treating you to my face in high quality. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's... You might be able to hear my parents are watching a movie outside. Um, anyways, uh, yes. Uh, Mark had been talking about Fear and Misery, which, by the way, I, I think that was when I started not posting, because uh, it was a two-week run, and so I was just exhausted Friday nights, I didn't end up posting. Um, it went really well, one of the best shows I've been in, it was just really, really great, all the feedback was wonderful, and people really seemed to think we did a great job, and uh, it, it was just all around a great show, longest run of a show that I've uh, r really done, like two weeks, um, was just really great as an experience to have. It was a great show. Mark in that same video talked about how he has no one to go to plays with, which sucks, Mark. Um, I mean, there's, there's not a ton of theater to go to in, in my city. I don't get a lot of variety in the theater I get to go to. Um, so hopefully maybe one day I can visit Winnipeg and then we can go to plays together. Um, uh, that would be cool. I, I'm in a show right now that's um, going to be going to Fringe Festivals. Or, I'm not for sure in it. I've read for it. So, uh, but the, the director is keeping me updated on whether or not I'm going to be in it and what, what shows have been confirmed. We're doing Fringe here, another... Uh, uh, here, uh, uh, Victoria, uh, BC, somewhere else. Uh, we've signed up for Winnipeg. I don't know if we got it or if he got it, whatever. Um, so maybe I'll be traveling to Winnipeg? I don't know. Uh, you went, you were doing, you were being all silly and you had your head up, your shirt up over your head <laughs> and your head up. Uh, and you said, I am Triangle Man, which reminded me of a song from They Might Be Giants. It's called Particle Man. And it's got a whole verse about a guy named Triangle Man. Just thought I'd mention that. Um, Mel, you were talking about the election. Uh, that has happened since I stopped vlogging on this channel, um, and yes, very close shave, oh my goodness, um, it, it, oh, wow, I'm, 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 I'm happy Obama won, I mean, I'm not the hugest Obama fan, but, um, definitely, 
better for the world that he he did. Um, I like uh, Megan had said, uh, who wouldn't vote for Barack Obama? Um, I you know, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, you know, I I wouldn't necessarily vote for Barack Obama. What I don't understand is who would vote for Romney? Why would you make that decision? Why would you actually consciously make that decision? I don't understand that at all. Um, you said in your video, Megan, that same video, you said that aspartame is carcinogenic. That is a myth. I just want to say that as someone who drinks a lot of aspartame in a day. Um, aspartame is not carcinogenic. Um, that myth came up because in the 70s someone tested a different artificial sweetener and proved that that artificial sweetener um, was could uh, cause cancer in rats. Uh, when it was later tested on people, it there was no evidence to show that it had any adverse effects to people, but it doesn't matter because no one uses that artificial sweetener. They use aspartame, and aspartame has gone through rigorous testing, but according to the FDA and to the National Cancer Association, Society, something like that, of, uh, of America, um, there is... Uh, aspartame does not cause cancer. That is a myth. Um, and yes, just... So you know. Uh, Mark, uh, Billy the Kid covering your song. That is so cool. Because you 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 talk about Billy the Kid all the time. That is so, so cool for you. I love when uh, when musicians have interesting, unique perks like that when you when you s support them. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm, I know you... I'm sure you guys... Uh, I'm assuming you guys have seen my video about uh, Jenny Owen Young's on my main channel. Um, and I, I know I've talked about Jenny Owen Young's, right? She's the best thing. Oh, uh, th one of my favorite musicians, and she everything she does is brilliant and amazing. Uh, it's over there, so I can't show you it exactly. Maybe I'll pick up the camera at a certain point. The <laughs> the face autofocus thing has locked on to Stephen Colbert. Let me just uh, let me just hey, uh, hey, oh no now it's locked on to Jim Carrey. Hey, okay, uh, now it's back on me. It's back on me. I don't know, whatever. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, now I've got this signed poster from Jenny O'Neill Young's because she does a, she's got a similar connection with the fans that says, Be well, Adam, and I'm like, ah, this is the best thing. Um, it also says XO, which I would like to collect on, to be honest, to be honest with you. Anyways, uh, it was, yeah, it was a very nice song. Um, wonderful. Uh, and I'm just, I'm just saying that, yeah, I, I, I can appreciate the awesomeness of having that, like, getting a signed CD. I've got a signed Jenny O'Neill Young album down here, somewhere. <laughs> Vinyl. Um, so yes, uh, one, it was, yeah, and like I said, it was wonderful, brilliant song. Um, uh, thank you very much. Mark, for being you, um, I like the it, it, your, your jail video. Um, just your ability to just share yourself, um, and just for being I don't know the way you you talk and you write, I really enjoy because you had this whole video about like this horrible experience you went through. Really, just this horrible experience that you were sharing, and then just like near the end, you know, I'd been going like all serious, like, oh man, just serious, reading the whole video, and then I just read, and then the guy points out uh, this lady just, <laughs> the way you worded it, it was uh, going, uh, pick, uh, just going to town picking her nose, and I just burst out laughing, it was the funniest thing, because, and I, I don't know, I just, I, I feel like that's, your, your, the way, your thought process you just pick out all of the highlights of it, the the most important things, and that was one of the most important things to you. And I like that you have that. Uh, I'm I, I feel like I'm expressing myself poorly right now, but um, that uh, you've got a, a nice levity to your personality that I absolutely love. Um, and so thanks for being you. Anyways. <laughs> Um, November 21st book, I don't, ah, uh, right, um, Megan, uh, just, uh, your video, you had a video at the end, you were like, 
I've got to go read this book, and you were like smiling, and you just, the way you, I don't wanna, and you smiled, uh, that was, oh, oh god funny, is what I've wrote, written here. I just burst out laughing. I watched that, just that chunk at the end, several times over. <laughs> I don't know, it was, it was so, like, um, filled with both a, a, adorable cuteness and vicious hatred. Um, and it, it was just a really nice combination. <laughs> um, Mark, uh, you made a video about Charlie's I'm Scared uh, video. Um, I really didn't like his I'm Scared video because uh, well, I mean, you know, there's, there's, you know, the, the thing of it is like, you know, he is expressing himself, he is, um, getting something off his chest that is actually, in fact, um, bothering him. But, I mean, what his thing really boils down to is, um, you know, I don't want to fail in front of all these people, but he could, he's already went through a process of making a video every day to prove to himself that he can just make whatever he wants and people will still enjoy it. Why is he still having problems? Ever, ever, I, 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 a lot of people, myself included, um, have troubles. Um, my something's flashing on my thingy. I don't know. Uh, have troubles um, with, with self confidence, right? Have, have, I don't know, yeah, self confidence issues of like, do people actually like me? Do uh, people enjoy what I do? He can li he, his computer is literally just a self-affirmation machine. He can just go on and talk, and just like click on one of his subscribers and say, Hey, how's it going? And he'll be like, I love you so much. And then that'll be that. And I, I, okay, my, 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 my feelings about that video are completely summed up, not completely summed up, but mostly summed up by, if you know who Pogobat is, youtube.com slash Pogobat, Dan Brown. Uh, made a video in reply to that, his I'm Scared video. This is going to be a long video, I'm not apologizing for that. Um, maybe, have I already? I don't know. Dan Brown's video in reply to I'm Scared, I think sums up my idea, my, my... basically what I would want to say, only more articulate and whatnot. So check out that video if you're interested, it's a good video. Um, and then, uh, Later on in your video replying to that, oh damn cutie child eyes is what I've written. Um, oh, oh, uh, what is her name? Matt, 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 uh, no, I don't, I don't know. Um, but oh my goodness, cutest baby. Oh, her eyes are so big and it adorable. Stop, stop. Do you want? A puddle Adam I I like I like coffee <laughs> uh, your your song I like coffee I uh, I think that's my favorite song that I've I've heard from you probably um, I just really liked uh, the, the the guy playing uh, he, he was really good um, and uh, uh, Jackie and him uh, making music with you was just really great and I felt this song really fit your voice you know um, cause you, 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 your singing voice is kind of this, this harsh kind of, uh, I don't know, it's, it's rough, right? And, uh, I, I felt like it really fit this song, it kind of gave it, a, kind of a country-ish feel, I don't know, it, it was nice, I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, Megan, uh, you talked about how you've never, you didn't know zombie walks were a, a thing before, do you remember my video can't remember how long ago it was, but it was when I dressed up like, uh, when I was like, it was the zombie apocalypse, and I had the headband and the gun, and I was like, ah, run, and it kept cutting to zombies. That was at, a, I, I had gone to a zombie walk that day. Um, so that's all clips from a zombie walk. I've heard, there's a zombie walk in my city, uh, as well. So those are, yeah, a thing. Um, I love your, like, Hufflepuff necklace charm. Thing that your friend made that was really cool, um, and then Elsie's back! Woo! That was ah, welcome back, man. We miss you. We missed you a whole lot, and 
Uh, I'm glad that you've come back to the internet. I'm just actually in the process of catch, catching up on all of your new videos you've posted recently. Um, it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's really awesome and cool to have you around again. Um, and just, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, Mark, you said hell can't exist because co because in hell uh, there would be no coke and coke is everywhere. But but fun fact, there is no Coca Cola or like McDonald's or anything in North Korea because North Korea is so super strict in their security. Like they don't let anyone in unless like escorted by a million different people. So there is no Coca Cola in, in North Korea. So, uh, following your theory, maybe North Korea is hell. Maybe that's not where we're allowed to see anything, because North Korea is hell on Earth. Who knows? I don't know. Uh, just, just saying is probably, yeah. Um, I'll see, your f story about the guy you met who ended up <laughs> dating you, <laughs> sort of. That was very funny. Uh, when 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 you said he brought you to see his sister, I, I remember I was sitting there watching the video and I just went, "Oh no!" <laughs> I connected the dots right there. It was like, "Oh shit!" I know where this is going. Uh, and yeah, you probably could have handled that better. Probably like when you connected the dots, just gone, just like clarified, "Hey, what is this?" But you know, I I can't say that I would have. Uh, made the proper decision in the moment either so um uh that's definitely um i don't know what i would do in your current situation but it made me laugh so thanks for that um melanie uh who uh melanie sorry it's 17 minutes uh, i play uh dungeons and dragons 3.5 um but you could really make a um, the, yeah, you, you asked about this character you want to make. Um, the cool thing about Dungeons and Dragons, or at least 3.5, because that's all I've ever played, is that you can really make anything. It might take you a while to get to the point where you need to be to have that character. Um, you might need to tweak the rules a little bit and converse with your DM. Uh, but essentially you can make any character. You wanted to make someone throwing Warhammers. Um, the thing about that is, uh... Uh, you wouldn't be able to have that character right off the bat, uh, really. Um, you would probably want to go with a barbarian class, um, and someone who... You would want them to have very high strength, because there's, there's throwing weapons. You can get light hammers, which are just, like, hammers that are meant for throwing. But you can essentially throw anything in the game, really, as long as you're strong enough to throw it. So, uh, if you wanted to throw war hammers, as a, a, a character, they would need to have very high strength. And the thing about Warhammers is that it, they're not just like easy to get. They're expensive weapons, just like any other big weapon. Um, so you would need a character who's not only strong and capable of throwing hard, um, which, by the way, if you're not throwing a throwing weapon, if you're just throwing a melee weapon, you take negative four penalty to hit, just so you know. Um, and... So if you want that, you know, not only need a strong character, you also need a character capable of getting that many Warhammers. So you're either going to want someone who can make a lot of money really fast, um, or probably the better alternative, someone who can craft Warhammers. So you'll still need to get the supplies to craft a Warhammer, but um, if, if you can make them yourself, then you can like craft them. And then you're either going to want someone who's really strong, who can carry them on their your back. You're going to want someone who's really strong anyway, but you might want to look into getting uh, some sort of horse or donkey or something that can carry them for you. Uh, and then, so you're not over encumbered and can't walk um, when you have a bunch of war hammers on you. There is actually prestige, uh, not a prestige character configuration that you can go into. Um, that's really uh, cool that you, I don't know you might want to look at that for the kind of starting because because you're gonna want someone who can craft uh, uh, this this guy can't but you might want to look at it for the direction it's going in to see which direction you want to take whatever character you're making into but it's called the hulking hurler and the way the hulking hurler is set up is by level 20 you are able to th your your main focus 
of attack is just throwing anything. It just uh, level twenty takes a long time to get to. That's that's like one of the higher, stronger people in Dungeons and Dragons will be a level twenty character. Um, but a uh, hulking hurler will be able to like pick up tree trunks and throw them. And like w one of the things people like to do is hulking hurlers is pick up one of your enemies and throw them at your other enemies. Um, uh, and that's 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 kind of the the gist of a hulking hurler. So you might want to go onto the Dungeons and Dragons wiki, look up the hulking hurler, and just see like the direction it's going in order to get strength strong enough to throw hammers. Maybe uh, just kind of. Uh, Use the wiki. It's a good source of information, and uh, your uh, work with your DM. Um, I've been going 20 minutes now, uh, but that's my catching up time. I feel I'm I'm okay with that. Whatever. Um, so uh, sorry, it's been a while. Uh, welcome back, Elsie. Um, good to talk to you all again. And I actually just made. A video for you guys that I'm going to post tomorrow because I'm pretty sure there's no one who posts on Mondays any uh, that would be Laura um, but you know uh, and so I'm, I'm, I, I made a video for you guys I'm gonna post it tomorrow it didn't turn out as good as I had hoped um, it's not of high as of high quality as I had uh, wanted well I mean there's low quality moments but those are on purpose I, d I don't know how to explain it it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to um, but I'm, I'm okay with that because you guys aren't like harsh internet critics who are going to hate me. Um, so, uh, yes. Um, oh, uh, there we go. Uh, and, uh, recommendation. Jenny Owen Young's, uh, I know I've recommended her before. She's currently doing a project where she lives in New York and she's going to a different museum in New York, uh, every week and then writing a uh, song based on her experience there um, and she brings out a new one every week so you might want to check that out it's called exhibit uh, Jenny, uh, Jenny Owen Young's one word dot bandcamp dot com she's posting them there once a week and they're a dollar each uh, so oh. <coughs> oh. this is a <coughs> what you're in for tomorrow, kind of. It's a hint. It's a clue as to what you're gonna get. Okay, bye.